This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit. And today I'm going to talk about the path. And it can be your path as an artist or simply the path in life. It's all the same. And I'm going to be up front with you. I really don't know what I'm going to talk about when I'm talking about the path, but it really came to me pretty strong that this is what I want to talk about. And I have a had a teacher several years ago say to me, as I said something about being on the path, and she said, you're not on the path, you are the path. <laughs> and it sounds cool and it feels right, but honestly, I'm not sure exactly what that means on some level. So I'm gonna go on a path with you today and see if I stumble across the answer to that. Why I am the path and not on a path. So, when I was in high school and my high school art teacher was pretty incredible. Oh shoot. Let me just see that my Battery. I've got this plugged in. I'm not sure why it's not not uh, charging. Oh, this is well. Hopefully, this video lasts. If not, I apologize. Um, just saw that. The low battery mode came on. I'm not sure why it's not charging. Might have something to do with being on Facebook Live. Not sure. I'm going to just go with it. And if it cuts out, it's just my battery and there's nothing I can do about it. And we'll just maybe pick it up tomorrow. Um, so... In high school, okay, I'm talking about art here, being on the path. Well, let me switch a direction here. I love, one of the things I love the most is going on nature hikes, and especially with others. My brother and his children invited me years ago to go on his annual backpacking trip to Pictured Rocks. And I think it's one of the most favorite things I've done with my son <clears throat> growing up. Um, and what's so cool about a vacation like that is we hiked in, brought all of our stuff on our backs, Backpacking in three miles into the back country of pictured rocks. And once you're out there, you're out there. You're in the elements. And you essentially, you know, are part of those elements. There's black flies, there's black flies. <laughs> and you got to you have to adapt and become a part of whatever that experience is and it's a shared experience although all of us are having our own individual experiences within it. And it's 
there's a sense of aliveness in that. And really, I think a lot of it has to do is you, you do become very present to everything. Um, and we did that for several years as my son was growing up. And then he went off to college. And it, actually, the college he picked was up in the UP because I think part of it was we had made that an annual trip up there and and went and visited Marquette anyway. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with this, but it is, there's something there to this. You are the path and being present and being out in nature. And if you, I mean, if this is a pretty clear um, idea of what I'm doing today. I'm actually painting from a, a photograph that I took out on a trail. And um, let me just sort of get into this here. Let's play with the colors a little bit. So what does being on the path have to do with anything with art? Well, yesterday I talked about balance and finding where the energy is. This is how you actually find balance. And when you're painting you might have an idea of where you're headed but I don't know about you I've gotten so, an idea in my head about something that I'd like to paint or maybe even a an idea like doing these painting meditations which I started somewhere around the beginning of the year, February, April, I'm not sure. Had all kinds of ideas about it. And I talked about doing them originally without me actually speaking during them. And this summer, um, I just got very inspired to clean up my studio space, which involved clearing out our storeroom. So I had a place to move my paintings, which were stacking up all around my studio, and moved my computer out of the studio space. So I just cleared the space out and that inspiration came to me as like, ah, oh, this, this would be really cool. I've got really a nice studio space, but <laughs> it's so cluttered and crowded. It just makes it very difficult to get going on something. Anyway, that ended up taking me about three weeks, I think. If I had known it was going to take me three weeks to do, I probably wouldn't have started it. But I am so glad that I did it. And it was also kind of a letdown. So I did all this work and then I'm still left with myself. You know, the inertia that I have mentally going on. And so there was a period after that that seemed like, well, what was the whole point of all of this? 
and then you know it's, I guess maybe even this morning just looking at I don't know, I've been doing these videos tomorrow I think will be my moving into my third week of doing it or completing my third week of doing it I guess is and I'm so glad that I decided to follow the inspiration to do these live. Well, something about me as an artist that I've found over the years is I kind of approach art from a more of an unconscious place and in a sense. I'm not sure if if I if that's an accurate way of describing it, but and I was going to say when I was in high school, there were artists who had really deep, meaningful paintings that they could talk about and describe, and and I just like to to draw and make things look like stuff, and and didn't feel like I had the ability to. You know, my work didn't have depth to it like everybody else's. And over the years, I've found that, you know, the way that I paint really does have a lot to me. It teaches me how, how to live life, really. Because there's so many principles that you come up with or come come face to face with when painting that translate into actually living life now this painting here is kind of feeling a little bit um, daintily handled maybe I'll see if I can open things up a little bit I'm trying to stay on this topic of path make sense of it but maybe I actually am making sense of it this way it's not until you're out on the path that you realize that you are the path because you're out there like I started this off with talking about being out in pictured rocks you're kind of going on this path and you know it's leading somewhere and the reason I took a picture of this particular part of the path is because I was experiencing the fullness and the aliveness of that particular moment and maybe this whole idea of you are the path really has to do with that feeling part of, maybe it can be just as simple as the question, if a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it, does the tree make a sound? Well, maybe I'll just leave you with that question in your mind and you can answer it yourself. Well, that was my little exploration of the path. Let's see if I do a little more with this painting after I say goodbye to you. Looks like my battery was plugged in, so it gave me that message is probably because the battery was low so looks like it worked out today and go ahead and explore your own path as an artist and we'll see you tomorrow